Hello, hello, good evening. Hello, hello. Good evening, teacher. How are you, Miss Dora? Hi, and you? Good evening. I'm doing great. Hello, good evening, Mr. Santos. I'm doing great. Great, great, great. Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello, good evening. Welcome. How is everybody doing? Are you okay? Are you happy? Excited? How are you doing? Oh, Mr. Osvaldo, thank you, welcome. Thank you, thank you so much for joining the video conference for today. Welcome, welcome. All right. Welcome, welcome everyone. Uh, just before we get started, I just want to uh, remind you uh, some people, like three or four people, are still missing to finish on the platform, you know? So I want to please ask you as a favor to complete on that one. Remember that is one, uh, that is part of the requirements and one of the commitments. Uh, that you have to complete on the information, please. The majority of you finished on the contents and that is really nice. So I appreciate that really much. But there are like four, four or five people who are still missing. So please uh, don't forget to complete that one by preference before this week finishes. You should finish on the platform. So on Monday, everything is ready, okay? Uh, let me get started by checking on the attendance. Let me look for my document here online so I can <clears throat> so I can check on this one. Thursday, 22nd. Okay, this is the one. Let's get started with the attendance. Dinora Lisette Pineda. Yes, here at this moment. Dora Mary Beltran. Present teacher. So much. Felix Elgardo Escobar Mejia. Felix Elgardo, probably not at this moment. Israel Antonio Torres. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Lilian Saray Montes. Lilian Saray Montes, probably not at this moment. Lisette Marisol Flores. Hi. Present teacher. Thank you so much. <laughs> Marcela Yvonne Nerio. Present. Thank you, thank you so much. Welcome, Maria de Los Angeles Hernandez. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, I'm sorry. Thank you, thank you. Norman Rivera. Mr. Norman Rivera, probably not at this moment. Uh, Osvaldo Aristides Méndez. Present. Thank you so much. Rebeca Ivonne Rivas. Present. Present. Thank you so much. Santos Bolaños. Present. Thank you so much. Saúl Alfredo Barahona. Saúl Alfredo Barahona. Probably not at this time. The chair. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I changed in this one. Thank you. Susana Flamenco. Present. Thank you. Tania Karina Moreno. Present. Thank you so much. Tatiana Jamilet Escobar. Present. Thank you. Vilma Contreras Umaña. <clears throat> Vilma Contreras Umaña, probably not at this time. Walter Alberto Tánchez. Walter Alberto Tánchez, probably not at this time. Walter Eleazar Morán. Present. Thank you so much. Wilfredo Hernández Vázquez. I am here, teacher. Thank you so much. Yesenia Carolina Lemus. Yesenia Carolina, probably not at this time. And Zulma Beatriz Pérez. Present, teacher. 
Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, everyone, welcome. Welcome to this. All right, thank you. Thank you so much. Welcome everyone to this video conference. I appreciate your punctuality to be here. Uh, just a reminder uh, to check on the camera, please. Remember that is one of the requirements. So I will ask you to please help me with your camera, please, 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 before we get started on the contents for today. Thank you so much. <clears throat> Check on this and we get a start. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Let's get started on this one. You know, today we have session number 13 and that is we are 13, 14, 15, we're probably three sessions to finish on the course. So we're about to finish on this one. So congratulations. And thank you for showing commitment to being here in the video conferences, because the majority of you uh, are really responsible, right? You are here for the complete session and that is really nice because in that way we can learn a lot. As I mentioned, we are on session 13. That means that we are going to finish next, next week on Wednesday, right? If, if I am not mistaken, and you, we finish on this course, that, that is the beginner module number three. <laughs> For this one, we're going to be talking about section number five. And on this one, there is one question like, where were you born? Right? The emphasis for this class or for this practice is to use the simple past of the verb to be. Right? And we're going to report the location in which we were born. Check on this one. Uh, tell me, let's see on the screen at this moment. Tell me, who is this man on the screen? Do you know him? Thank you. <laughs> Excellent. You see, perfect, perfect. Uh, you know this person. That is correct. And that is Jackie Chan. That is the name of this person. And tell me, if I ask you, where was he born? Do you know the, the country of origin of this person? Where was he born? Any idea? Any comment? Any volunteer? China. China? Japan. He was in Japan. Korea. In Korea, thank you so much. Yeah, because you see the person like with the eyes. <laughs> Tell me. I listen to options. Mm -hmm. He was uh, born in Hong Kong. He was born in Hong Kong. All right, thank uh -huh. you. Okay, perfect. Any other idea? Any other comment? Where was he born? Miss Rebecca, I, Rebecca Rivas, I will ask you to express your opinion. Where was he born? Korea. Korea, all right. Thank you so much for your, your answer. Lily Montes, what do you think? Where was he born? He was born in China. In China? Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, let me show you the answer. As you see, he was born in Hong Kong, right? Hong Kong, that is part of China. Take a look at the other person that I have. Tell me, who is she? Scarlett Johansson. Excellent, Santos, perfect. Scarlett Johansson, thank you, that's correct. And if I ask the question, where was she born? Who can tell me where was she born? She's she was uh, she was in South Africa. South Africa. All right. Thank you so much. More she comments. Was born in New York. In New York. Thank you so much. Any other volunteer to express ideas?
She was born in the United States. All right, thank you so much. And thank you for your participation. And that's correct. As you mentioned, she was born in the USA, probably in New York. I don't know the specific place, but I know she was born in the USA, right? Somebody mentioned in New York, but I am not sure. Si es correcto, yo no sé, pero probablemente sea de Nueva York. Yo sé que es de Estados Unidos, okay? As in this mm -hmm. one, as you can see the expression that is underlined, we can use a combination of the verb to be plus the word born to mention the country of origin, all right? That is how we get started on this information and for this practice. Thank you so much for your participation. Check on this one. As you can see on this one, for we're going to check on some information. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much for your confirmation. As you can see on this one, we're going to check on the statements. A statement means uh, sentences, okay? Statements with the past of be. As you can see, we have only two versions of the verb to be in the simple past. But let's make a review. Let's remember some information. Tell me what are the forms of the verb to be in the present? Subject plus to be uh -huh. plus verb plus complement. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Marcela. That is the correct structure that we have to follow. Thank you so much. And now, for example, in this one, remember for the verb to be, we have the verb am, that is one part of the verb to be in the present. What is the other mm -hmm. form of the verb to be? Is. Is. Or is. Are or is, thank you so much. <clears throat> Perfect. We have three forms, but in, in the simple past, we are going to have only two forms, was and where. In this case, or let me see, for the verb to be was, we can use the combination of the it's subject, I was, he was, she was, or it was. Okay, those are the possible combinations. Remember that in the, in the present, you mentioned he is, she is, I am, you are. We are there, are, there are some combinations of some subjects and the verb to be. In the in the simple past is the same, but in this uh, but in this opportunity, we have I, he, she, and it in combination with was to express affirmative sentences. For the verb to be that is that should be in plural, you know where in this case where we have the subjects you, we, and they. Those are the possible combinations that we have. For example, I mentioned, I create a, an affirmative sentence. I was born in, I guess the majority in El Salvador, right? Or is somebody else from other country? All right, everybody's Salvadorian, I guess. Okay, perfect. So I am going to report information about the specific place for my birth. For example, for me, I was born in Santa Ana, right? That is my, the, the place of origin. That is for me, right? Walter Moran, tell me, where were you born? Me perdí, piche, porque me quedé sin electricidad y acabo de entrar. Híjole, no problem, no problem. In this one, Mr. Walter, we are reporting, we are using the past of the verb to be. And we are go, we are using information to report the place of origin where you were born. Estamos reportando inform nuestro lugar de origen donde nacimos, ¿verdad? Y para eso utilizamos el pasado, I was, and we have the other verb, born. Uh, as in this one, le voy a mostrar por acá el ejemplo de la diapositiva anterior. For example, with two people, we mentioned he was born, ¿verdad? El sujeto, porque es Jackie Chan, you say he. You have the verb to be and the combination of born. And after that, when you mention the place, después de eso mencionamos el lugar. For example, for me, I was born in Santa Ana. That is the place of origin for me. 
ese es mi lugar de origen y donde yo nací. And I ask you at this moment a question, Mr. Walter Moran. Where were you born? I was in Santa Ana. I was born in... I was born in Santa Ana. Perfect. Okay. Thank you so much. Walter, choose other classmates and ask the question. Seleccione a un compañero los que tiene aquí en la videoconferencia y pregúntele, hey, oh. where were you born? Eh, Wilfredo. Where was... Where eh, were where you was, born? Perdón. Where you born? Where you, you born? Let me see. Let me check. Where her. was... In this case, I will help you. Le voy a ayudar por aquí para mostrarles cómo sería la pregunta. We are going to express information like this. Where were you born? ¿Da? Utilizamos el pasado, como vemos acá en la diapositiva, cuando utilizamos el sujeto you, el verbo to be es where, ¿verdad? Y en, el, y en este caso las dos palabras suenan igual. Where, where, ¿verdad? No hay, no hay diferencia en pronunciación. Where were you born? Te está preguntando, ¿dónde naciste? Y nosotros reportamos, I was born in, y reportamos el lugar. ¿Ok? Walter, create a question one more time for Mr. Uh, for, for Wilfredo. Wilfredo, where were you born? I was born in San Miguel. Perfect, thank you. Wilfredo, choose other classmates and create the same question, please. Okay, let me see. Um, Rebecca Rivas, where, where were you born? I was born in San Salvador. Rebecca, choose other classmates and create a question, please. Um, quiero ver. Lily. <laughs> Hi, Lily. <laughs> Hi. Where were you born? I was born in San Salvador. Perfect. Lily, choose the last person for this round of questions, please. Susana Betsabe. Susana Betsabe. Mm -hmm. Where were you born? I was born in the San Salvador. In San Salvador, okay. Thank you so much, perfect. You see, in this way we can formulate the question like where were you? Thank you so much. Let's continue in this one. As you can see, we in this in this opportunity we were creating uh, sentences in the affirmative form to create a negative in the sentence. We only need to include the word not, right? That is to make something in negative. I was not, he was not, she was not. And also with the plurals, you were not, we were not, and they were not. It is also possible to have a contraction. And remember, a contraction is the union of the verb plus other word. In this case, the negative word not. For example, for this one, we can say wasn't, right? For the negative in the contracted form. And for the other, you can mention weren't, okay? That is the information. For example, you say, hey, I wasn't born in Sonsonate. I wasn't born in La Paz, okay? And then you can express information in the negative form. Let's continue with this. To create questions, we continue with the same uh, combination of verb to be plus the subjects. But in this one, to make yes or no questions, remember with the verb to be, we only make an inversion. And the information goes like this, right? You change, you change the order, right? And we create a question. The first element for just no questions is going to be the verb to be. Okay? And then we have the subject 
And then the complement, similar for the information in plural. You remember there is only an inversion. We change the position of the info. Let me, let me show it to you. See, as in this one, we just make the inversion and the first element is the verb to be where you, and then you are going to practice on this one. I will ask some people, and in this I am going to create a yes, no question, and then you tell me, yes, I was, or no, I wasn't, right? And we report information. And I start with Ms. Dora Mary Beltran. Ms. Dora, tell me, were you born in Chalatenango? Um, I... I wasn't. No, I wasn't. Okay. And report the correct information. I was born in. I was not. I was not born in Charatenango. Mm -hmm. And now the real I, information. Uh, I, wa I was born in Usultan. Usultan. Ah, perfect. Thank you so much. Osvaldo Aristides Mendez, tell me, were you born? In Aguachapan? No, uh, I were not. Uh, no, I wasn't. I no, wasn't. I wasn't. Uh -huh. The, the, the short you. answer, no, I wasn't. And then you include the extra info. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I were, I, I was born mm -hmm. in Chalchuapa. Chalchuapa, eh? I'm a, a little bit close. <laughs> Thank you so much. I will ask <laughs> other person. Lisette Flores, tell me. Were you born in San Salvador? Yes, I was. Yes, I was. Okay. Yes, I was. And perfect. <laughs> because the sentence is okay. true, it, it's only like that. Yes, I was. Thank you. Uh, Vilma Contreras Sumaña, tell me, were you born in La Unión? Uh, what? I was. I was not. Mm hmm uh i was in i was not in cual mm -hmm. me dijo en qué me en la, dijo en la lo... unión le preguntaba en la si... unión Ajá. i was i was not in in la unión mm -hmm. i was in santa ana in Santana, okay, thank you just something to include in your answers nada más un elemento para incorporar en su respuesta. Por, por. Exact. Thank you, por. perfect. Thank you, thank you so much. Recuerde ahí. I was born in Santa Ana. Perfect, thank you so much. Perfect, thank you, thank you. I appreciate your, your effort. Thank you. Maria Hernandez, tell me, were you born in Sonsonate? No, no, I wasn't. Mm -hmm. I was born in San Miguel. San Miguel, okay, perfect, right? Saul Barahona, tell me, Mr. Saul. Wow. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Yeah, yeah. Saul. Okay, the question for you, were you born in Santa Ana? Uh, no, I was not in Santa Ana. I was born in San Vicente. In San Vicente, okay, thank you so much. You see, we report. Tania, hello, Tania, were you born in San Salvador? Yes, I was. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Miss Dinora Pineda, welcome to the video conference. Uh, tell me, were hello? you born in San Miguel? <laughs> no, I wasn't in San Miguel. I was born in San Salvador. San Salvador, okay. Thank you so much. Tatiana Yamilet Escobar, what about you? Were you born in, let's see, in San Vicente? No, I was not. I was born in San Vicente. I was born in San Salvador. All right, thank you so much. Mr. Walter Tanches. What about you? Were you born in Santa Ana? Uh, 
Mr. Walter, I guess there is a problem with your microphone because I cannot listen to you properly. No le escucho adecuadamente. Revise su conexión y cuando vea por acá, regresamos y practico con usted. No se preocupe. Okay? Thank you so much. Zulma Beatriz Pérez, what about you? Were you born in Santa Ana? No, I wasn't. I was born in San Salvador. Thank you. Santos, what about you? Were you born in San Miguel? Uh, no, I wasn't. Uh, I, was, I was born in La Paz. In La Paz. Interesting. You see, we have, it's good to know that we have people from different places. Marcela, Yvonne, what about you? Were you born in San Salvador? Yes, I was. I, born, I was born in San Salvador. All right, thank you so much. And I will ask Mr. Norman Rivera, what about you, Norman? Were you born in Sonsonate? I not was Sonsonate. Mm -hmm. I was I was born in San Martin. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Uh, Mr. Walter Tanches, I don't know if you corrected the issue with the microphone. Ahora sí. Perfect. Yes, I okay, can listen okay. to you. I will formulate the question one more time. Tell me, Mr. Walter, were you born in Aguachapan? I was not in Aguachapan. I was born in San Salvador. All right. Thank you so much. Perfect. Perfect. As you can see in this one, in this form, we can ask yes or no question. Remember mm -hmm. that the first element is the verb to be then the subject, and then the rest of the sentence. The last part before we move to some practice. As in this one, when we create WH questions to ask more information, the first element is not going to be the verb to be. The first element is going to be the WH word. And in this case, we formulate the questions in this way, WH word, verb to be in the simple past, subject, and the complement. Similar to the first question that we that you were asking your classmates, where were you born? ¿Nada? Si recordamos la primera pregunta que ustedes estaban formulando entre sus compañeros, era where were you born? ¿Verdad? ¿Dónde naciste? ¿Okay? Y ahí la gente reportaba, I was born in, and you mentioned the location. And remember, the different WH words can serve or can we can use them to get extra information. For example, I can ask you, when were you born? Ahí ya no estoy preguntando por ubicación, porque no es dónde, eh, dónde naciste, sino que cuándo, ¿verdad? Como una fecha de nacimiento. Y ahí reporta información, I was born in, y ahí menciona el mes o el año o más específico con todo día y fecha y año, you can report the information to report extra or different information. Uh, before we move on, I would like to know if there is any question. ¿Habrá alguna pregunta de lo que estamos comentando en esta ocasión? Any question? Teacher, en, uh, en afirmativo, perdón, en mm -hmm. afirmativo es yes, I was. Yes, I was. Mm -hmm. Y uh -huh. al complementar siempre vuelvo a decir, I was born in San Miguel. In, in this case, provide the extra information, it is possible. Eso es casi similar a lo que hacíamos en las prácticas anteriores, ¿verdad? La respuesta corta no sirve para, ya sea para afirmar algo o para o decir al compañero que no es correcta la información. ¿verdad? Digamos, si yo le digo, were you born in San Salvador? Usted me dice, no, I wasn't, ¿verdad? No, o sea que no nació ahí. Y después ya formulamos una respuesta afirmativa otra vez completa para darle información de relevancia del lugar de, de donde usted nació, ¿verdad? Decimos la respuesta corta, no I wasn't, I was born in San Miguel. Y ahí podemos formular la respuesta, ¿ok? Una respuesta corta más una respuesta larga ya dando una información o una explicación si es que amerita en este caso para explicar dónde usted nació. Uh -huh. Entonces, en afirmativo sería, yes, I was, I was born in San Miguel. O in this case, puede yes. Ser, mm -hmm. O puede ser, yes, I was born in San Miguel. 
That's correct. In this case, it is possible. Es posible solo decir y nos vamos a la respuesta larga, ¿verdad? Como es afirmativa, tal vez para no sonar tan repetitivo, podríamos caer solo con un yes y la información respuesta larga. Así como usted lo dijo, yes, I was born in San Miguel. Una sola afirmación. En el caso de los negativos, tal vez sería dar una respuesta corta negativa y después una afirmativa mencionando dónde usted nació. Pero es, es posible irnos así. Incluso la respuesta corta no sirve, ¿verdad? Porque es una afirmación. Were you born in San Miguel? Yes, I was. Y ahí está usted afirmando la información, ¿verdad? A veces lo hacemos de respuesta larga para continuar la conversación y no sonar tan cortante, ¿verdad? Esa es la idea. Puede ser entonces, eh, bueno, no sé. Eh, digo, yes, I was. I was born in San Miguel. Si quiero decir específicamente dónde, ¿cómo utilizaría esa otra parte? Por ejemplo, si digo en, en San Antonio. In, podríamos decir, I was born in San Miguel, in San Antonio, to be exact, para ser exactos, ah, to be okay. exact. Ajá, y ahí ya damos más exact. información, más relevante, exacto. Mm -hmm. Ok, thank you. You're welcome. Miss Dinora Pineda, I don't know if you have a question. Ah, ok. So, este teacher, una preguntita. El was y el where me va a servir siempre que yo hable en el pasado, cuando yo vaya, um, cuando sea sobre el verbo ser o estar con cualquier verbo. Siempre sería el ser, verbo ser y estar, pero no en combinación con los verbos de acción, como decir, por ejemplo, uh, yo fui, yo comí. En ese caso, el verbo, eh, en ese caso, el verbo to be no se utiliza en combinación con verbos de acción. Uh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. En ese caso, si fuera el afirmativo, recuérdese que ahí el verbo que utilizamos tal cual es el verbo en su forma pasada. I went to the beach, I ate fish, I saw my friends, y vamos utilizando el verbo en su forma pasada, pero sin mezclar el verbo to be. Entonces, uh -huh. si estamos hablando siempre del verbo, si estamos hablando del tiempo verbal, pasado, pero es una diferencia entre hablar de verbo de acción y utilizar el verbo to be que no se nos vayan a mezclar, ¿verdad? Porque no se utilizan en combinación para este tiempo verbal. Mm -hmm. Recuérdese que la mayoría del tiempo el verbo to be a veces lo utilizamos con complementos de lugar, con adjetivos, funciona muy bien el verbo to be, ¿verdad? Usted dice I am happy y en el, en el pasado I was happy, estuve feliz. Entonces, ahí no hay un uh -huh. verbo de acción, sino que para expresar descripción, emociones, para eso podríamos usar el verbo to be. Tubo. Exacto, exacto. ¿verdad? Pero con acciones, si no entra en combinación el verbo to be. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. O sea, que yo no, pude, no puedo decir yo estuve trabajando, porque para eso se le agrega, como es verbo irregular, ¿verdad? Por eso se le Ex agrega la E y la D. Exacto, el verbo regular. Entonces, ahí es más eh, la... Como es una acción que ya terminó, entonces usted dice, I worked. Diferente uh -huh. a si que estaba mencionando. Si usted dice, estaba trabajando, entonces ahí utilizamos el pasado, pero es el pasado en progresivo, ¿verdad? Y ahí sí es otro uh -huh. tiempo verbal que no hemos visto exacto. Ahí sí ya existe cierta uh -huh. acción de verbo to be con el ING del otro verbo. Pero ese ya sería uh -huh. eh, otro tema que vamos a estudiar más adelante. ¿Mm? Ok. Ok. Perfect, Thank perfect. You. You're welcome. My pleasure. Con gusto. Okay, let's continue on this one. Remember that uh, today I shared some information with you. Ese día les compartí información, ¿verdad? A ustedes. Y les mandé una captura de estas preguntas. If you don't have it, don't worry. You have it at this moment. ¿verdad? Si usted no lo, no lo recibió o no lo revisó, no se preocupe. Puede tomar capturas ahí de las preguntas que tenemos en pantalla. O si tiene chance, las escribe algo rapidito. At this moment, we are going to have a speaking practice. Sí, Diga. La, la número dos está, creo que, que el where lleva una H de más. When were you born? Yes. 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 Perfect. Thank you. Let me make, let me do the corrections. Thank you so much. Déjeme hacer las correcciones del caso. Tell me. Excuse me. ¿En, en dónde dice que envió eso? Ah, uh, en el grupo de WhatsApp. Ah, es que no estoy ahí. 
Recuérdense bueno. que en el, en el correo que se les envía de que están matriculados en el curso está toda la información y ahí están los enlaces para poderse agregar uh -huh. manualmente al grupo, ¿verdad? Así que si tiene la uh -huh. chance, revise su correo porque ahí está la información. Okay. Thank you yeah, so much yeah. for the correction. You're welcome. Muchas gracias por la corrección, es cierto. Ahí en el número dos estaba incorrecto. Thank you so much. Question number one, we have, where were you born? ¿verdad? La primera hace referencia de dónde nació usted. The second one, when were you born? ¿Cuándo naciste? Y ahí reportamos la información. I was born in February. That is my personal information, right? I was born in February. Or if I want to report the year, I was born in 19. Y ahí le pone usted el, el año, ¿verdad? Si quiere mencionarlo, no hay ningún problema. Number three, where was your mother born? ¿Dónde nació su mamá? Si no se puede la información, no importa, no se preocupe, invéntesela, nadie lo, lo va a llegar a revisar y nadie va a saber si era verdadera la información. In this case, we report, she was born in, and then you report the info. Number four, where was your, your father born? The same, the location of the birth of your father. Number five, Who was your first English teacher? ¿Quién, ¿Quién fue su primer maestro de inglés en toda su historia con este idioma? Y se dice, my first English teacher was Chepito, right? And you mentioned the information, right? Next one, what was your favorite subject at school? ¿Cuál era su, ma, su materia favorita en escuela? Ah, my favorite subject was English, right? My favorite subject was mathematics. It depends on you. And number seven, were you a good student in school? In words, other change. Sorry, 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 sorry. I will make more modification. What happened to me on this one? I guess I was I was hungry. Probablemente tenía hambre y algunas letras las puse de más y otras no las incluí. Sorry for that. Let me check. Déjeme chequear por acá y le comparto. In the last one. The last question is uh, the verb to be, right? Es una yes or no question. Iniciamos con el verbo to be. Were you a good student in school? ¿Fue usted un buen estudiante en escuela? Ya sea el año pasado o, o si ya estamos en, eh, ya en nuestra etapa laboral y que ya no estamos estudiando en escuela o en universidad, podemos responder, ah, yes, I was a good student. Or no, I wasn't a good student. It depends on the information we are going to report. Uh, before we start on this practice, is there any question about this information that we are going to use? Any question at this moment? No question. Thank you so much. In this case, number seven, yes. Uh -huh. Vamos a utilizar ya sea yes or no. Y ahí vamos a dar de una sola vez la oración. Yes, I was a good student. O en el negativo, no, I wasn't a good student. Mm. Cualquiera de las dos. Yo que esperaría que todos digan que yes, I was a good student. ¿ma? O tal vez éramos en los que hacíamos el relajo. ¿va? Tal vez, no probable. No, no éramos de eso. Ya, algunos ya se están riendo, ya los descubrí. No, 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 we are good people. Somos gente de bien, no se preocupe, tranquilitos y no hacemos relajo. Okay, perfect. Uh, if there, is no, there are no more questions, we are going to get started. Remember, we try to ask this question to the classmates and we try and we report in the complete form. Utilizamos las preguntas y reportamos la información en una forma completa, ¿verdad? Por lo menos en las preguntas donde dice dónde nació su mamá, dónde nació su papá. Eh, Let's motivate the person to give complete answers, ¿verdad? Motivemos al compañero a dar una respuesta larga. Porque tal vez el compañero solo le puede decir insonsonate. La respuesta, o sea, la persona le comprendió la pregunta, le dio la información relevante, pero no me utilizó la respuesta completa, ¿verdad? Entonces, motivemos al compañero a utilizar la estructura adecuada. My father was born, o puede decir he, he was born in Sonsonate. She was born in Santa Ana. Right? And you report on this information. Let me get on something here. Uh, okay, let's get started. Déjeme por acá armar los grupitos. And I can, we can begin on this info. 
We are ten. Okay, people, let's get started on this. Try to ask the questions and try to report all the information, please. Uh, el Walter. Yeah, tell me, dígame. A mí no me mandó a sala. Me desapareció el, el mensaje, pero se me desapareció antes de aceptarlo. Ok, interesante. Déjeme ver por acá entonces la... Déjeme ver cómo hago. Le voy a... Cada vez que le manda a sala le cae como una invitación, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. Ok, voy a hacer algo de la sala original que donde lo tenía, le voy a mandar una invitación, pero no la acepte, solo para que no, como que nos haga un reinicio y después lo voy a mover okay. a la sala donde tiene que estar. Veamos si nos okay, funciona okay. esto, okay? ¿ok? Le cayó alguna, o no sé si lo va a mover automático, si no, yo eh, después lo regreso. Me cayó y me está diciendo que para la sala 10. Para la sala 10, ok, vale, perfecto. Sí. Déjeme ver si ahora lo puedo volver a mover. Tendría que estar en la sala 7. No sé si le aparece ahora. Ah, ahora sí me cayó okay. la sala 7. Entro, Perfect. ¿verdad? Sí, please, please, please. Ok. Uh -huh. En mis Tania. Hello, Tania, Tania. Hello, Miss Tania Karina. Hello, hello. Where you born? I was born in eh, I, 1997. Nine, 19, Nine, 19, 97. 97. Okay, 97. <laughs> and where was your mother born? She was in. She was born. He was born in Cabañas. Cabañas, oh, nice. And where was your father born? He was born in Galicia. Yes. Yeah. Uh, um, um, my 985. Like 19? 1985. 1985. Ajá. Uh -huh. 19... 1985. Sí. Mm -hmm. okay. 1985. Ahí estamos bien. Perfect. Mm -hmm. And where was your mother born? Oh. Uh, my mother was here born uh, in and 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 August August 
August. August 28. Mm -hmm. uh, the, 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 the year I know, I don't know. The old. <laughs> it happens. It suele ocurrir a veces con la fecha. I, I, don't worry. I, I, I don't remember <laughs> that. It happens. <laughs> Dave, you don't remember these. Do you remember that? Do you remember the that, Marcela? Yes. Really? I know. When yes, was your mother yes, born? My mother, my mother was born on March 2nd mm -hmm. in 1960. Ah, perfect. That's nice. Good. I some no, not sometimes. I always remember the day and the month because I know my mother was born on on but July on first. Of, yeah, but but the year and it's like uh, I don't remember to be honest. I always ask her, you know, mom, where were you know. born? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the age it's exactly hmm. of my father and mother, but the 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 I don't know how to say it. The issue was mm -hmm. born, was, mm -hmm. no, the issue, were they born? I know. And just rest. Mm -hmm. The age, for example, 2021. Minus, minus 19. 19 so. and, and <laughs> you do the mathematics in the moment. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's fine. All right. Thank you. Continue. Continue. Keep in, keep on working on this one. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you. And um, you, where was your mother born? Um, um, she was born in Santa Ana. And where was your father born? He was born in in Lovasco. And um, you, where? Was your father born? Uh, he was born. I was born in Ahí le voy a dar otras respuestas mentirosas. Okay. Um, ah. Ahí le voy a dar otras respuestas mentirosas. Sorry, what? Sorry. I was, I was born in Usulatan. <laughs> Where were you born? Um, I, I born. I was in, born. I was born. I was born. I was born in. Fray, fray, February. <laughs> February. Oh, February. In on what day? What um, day of February? Uh, 12. 12. Oh, perfect. 12. I was I was born on February the third. That's for me. On February, the same month. The month the month of love. I was born in <laughs> February. <laughs> uh -huh. Great. All right. Thank you. Continue the asking. I want to you. Perfect. Yeah, for Valentine's. <laughs> Para San Valentín anduvimos por ahí en la fecha de nacimiento. <laughs> Perfect. Continue asking. I want okay. to listen to you. Thank you. Okay. Where was your mother born? He was born in this case, mother. she, and mother. mother, yeah. Be careful with that when you say mother, she. Mo she. <laughs> no, 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 she, <laughs> she was born <laughs> in Chalatenango. In Chalatenango, All right, okay. thank you. Where was your father body? He was born in Aguachapan. Who was your first English teacher? Um, no, I escuché. <laughs> Hola. My first English teacher was, uh, was uh, Nora Celaya Peña. 
Okay. What was your favorite subject in school? At school, sorry. Mm -hmm. what, uh -huh. what was your favorite subject at school? Mm -hmm. yeah. At school? Uh -huh. Yes, yes. My favorite subject at school was um, sociales. Sociales. Okay. Where do you. Okay, okay, okay. Hello, hello. Uh, ahí, ahí está, ahí está, ahí está. Yeah. So, and tell me, how may I help I... you? <laughs> sí, es que, es que eh, um, en la última, uh -huh. cuando dice de que, de que si uno es un buen estudiante, ¿verdad? Eh, uh -huh. Teníamos que, o, o, sea, que recordé, o sea, que responder yes I was o no I was. Uh -huh. Pero, eh, ¿cómo se dice más o menos? Ese, ah, esa es la pregunta, o sea, ah, ni, 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 ni sí excelente. que contaban, pero tampoco andaba exacto. tan abajo. Exacto, exacto, como más o menos por ahí. Ok, in this one, usted puede utilizar la palabra average, que es, que es como un, uh, es la, la información que usted me está mencionando, ¿verdad? Como un, uh -huh. una en una persona promedio, que en un promedio, Ajá, que, no es, que no está ni, ni tampoco que despunta, tal vez en calificaciones, Ajá. pero tampoco que anda tan mal, pues, exacto, ahí. Entonces, usted puede decir, uh, tal vez, ahí podría variar cómo lo respondemos. Si me dijeran a mí, mm. were you a good student? Yo pues, tal vez le podría decir, um, no, I wasn't, I was an average student, un estudiante promedio. Ajá. Average. Average. Sí es. ¿Eh? Exacto. Average, okay. Average okay. student. ¿verdad? Y eso quiere decir, ¿verdad? ni tan arriba, pero ni tampoco abajo, ¿verdad? Como lo, lo que mencionaban ustedes, un intermedio. Sí, 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 uh -huh. sí, sí. Ok, ok, ok. Ok. Ese era el interrogante porque estábamos ahí entre, entre no sabíamos. <risa> sí. <risa> La hizo so <risa> <risa> sí, este, eh, Un paréntesis. Ahora Dígame. ya no me quedó tiempo para escribir lo que le comentaba anoche. Ah, pero exacto. sí ya tengo los. Ya tengo los verbos, saqué bastantes. Saqué, Excelente. Si no me equivoco, como alrededor de unos, que unos 12 quizás. Hay unas ah. variantes por ahí, pero como que, no sé, no sé, pero se las voy, o sea, creo que mañana sí, eh, eh, que sí me queda tiempo, las escribo en el grupo para, para que las veamos, porque sí perfecto. estoy con esa duda. Sí, ¿verdad? perfecto. Uh, igual, como le comentaba ayer, ¿verdad? Si uh -huh. lo comparten en el grupo ahí del chat, no sirve a todos porque ahí aprovecho a todos sí. y les puedo dar una explicación, ¿verdad? Tal vez los demás uh -huh. o no tienen conocimiento o tal vez sí, pero siempre a partir de todo esto aporta para que nosotros continuemos en el proceso de aprendizaje. Así que, dele, no hay problema. Ok, uh -huh. ok, ok, gracias. Perfect, teacher. perfect, ok. You're welcome. Ok. Thank you, teacher. So, 20, 20, one of years, 2,100 fields, <laughs> 2,000, ¿cómo? Sí sería así, ¿verdad? Hello, hello. 2005. No, 2002. Ah, no. 2002. 2002. 2000, uh, 2000. Los miles, los miles ah, los sí, mencionamos con thousand, exacto. Pero para decir fecha, esa, esa era mi duda, que si para decir fechas tenía que decir de dos en dos los números o de por día. Eh, se puede de dos en dos, nada más en el periodo de años desde el 2000, desde el 2000 al 2009 o 2010, si sí, generalmente decimos la fecha tal cual, 2001, ahí sí ah, utilizamos la forma, pero oh, okay. por lo menos de, de las fechas anteriores, si sí lo decimos de dos cifras en dos cifras, como 1980, no vamos uh -huh. a decir 1000 800, oh, sería 1,980, o sea, una fecha súper larga si yo leyera el número tal cual, va. 1,800, 1,900 y, y tanto. En ese caso, para hacerlo más fácil, ¿verdad? Y más acortado, se utilizan en dos, en dos cifras, ¿verdad? O decimos como que dijéramos 1,980. Ajá. Entonces exacto, decimos exacto. 1,980, ahí sí es posible. Pero del 2,000, como son 2,0, ¿verdad? Vamos a decir 2,000. 
Entonces, en eso, ajá, y también el otro, 2001. Entonces, por eso a veces eh, en esas fechas, en ese periodo del 2000 al 2009, 2010, se opta mejor por decir la cifra tal cual, 2001, 2003, porque no es tan largo tampoco como lo expresamos, ¿verdad? Mm. En este 2010, ahí sí ya lo podemos, 2010, 2011, ahí sí ya podemos utilizar, o volvemos a, a esa oh, forma, ¿verdad? Okay. Podría ser. Uh -huh. Sí. Entonces sería, ¿cuánto a usted? Tú. 2002. Ah, 2000. Ah, sí, 2000. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. okay. How are you doing? Did yeah. you finish? ¿Terminamos con la práctica? No, no, sí, perdón. Yo como lo que he hecho. Yo soy nervioso. No, no, no. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Uh, where was your mother born? Bueno, aquí está el teacher. Creo que le podemos preguntar. Mire. Yes, <laughs> ask me. Hello, hello. No, Excelente. <laughs> Cuéntenme, ¿qué puedo ayudarles? Un dilema. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Vaya, Susana, dígale. <laughs> Vaya, es que la cuestión es que estaba, yo le estaba diciendo mi fecha, ¿verdad? Que I was born in October, le dije yo, 25th, in 1998. Pero no sé si está bien el first o sería 21 ah, okay. para las fechas. ¿Verdad? Para fechas no utiliza, utilizamos los números ordinales, así como se lo mencionó, 21st porque sería en español, no lo utilizamos tan común, pero sería vigésimo primero, ¿verdad? Ese sería como nosotros lo expresaríamos. Uh -huh. Nosotros en español salimos el 3, de fe, el 3 de febrero, el 5 de mayo, así utilizamos uh -huh. el número normal. Uh -huh. Pero en inglés vamos a utilizar los números ordinales. Entonces uh -huh. sería correcto como se lo mencionó, uh, 21st. Así uh -huh. sería, así sería uh -huh. la terminación. Uh -huh. ¿Y cuál era el año? 1998. 1998. Ajá, 19. Sí, porque ahí me dijo no fueran 9000, 90, 91. Ya anda en el futuro, usted es Susana Bárbara, excelente. No probable. 19, exacto. Ahí pronunciamos como que fuera 19 y decimos 91. Eso estábamos diciendo con Vilma, vea, que solo solo se leen como los parcitos. Dos dígitos, ah, vamos dos en dos dígitos. dígitos. Exacto, así lo mencionamos, porque si no sale muy larga la fecha, se podría decir, pero la gente a veces prefiere ahorrarse, ¿verdad? Tanta uh -huh. palabra. Si sí, imagínense, si yo quisiera decir 1997, en inglés yo tendría que decir 1997. 97, así se leería esa cifra total, va, tal cual, bien largo, entonces mejor optan por decirlo en dos cifras, como decir 1997, 1997, problem solved y asunto resuelto. Y se ahorra más saliva. Gracias. Ok, you're welcome, we have one more minute, tenemos un minuto más, así que aprovechamos a preguntar, a hacer las últimas preguntas y regresamos a la sala. Thank you so much. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Bye. <laughs> hello, hello. How are you doing? Hello, teacher. Are you finished? Sí, ya estaba practicando. <laughs> so, hey, teacher. Tell me. Pero le teníamos sí, una pregunta. Excelente. Uh -huh. sí, aprovechenme, aprovechenme. No problem. Este... Fíjese que cuando preguntábamos um, When were you born? Uh -huh. Yo tenía la forma de decirlo, pero no sé si es la correcta. Es I was on October 17th of on 1997. Uh -huh. Ok. First, uh, en el verbo vamos a decir I was born I was born. In. Uh -huh. I was born. De ahí me dio toda la fecha completa, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. Entonces, si vamos a decir el mes con el día, la preposición sería el on. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Si solo oh, digo sure. el mes o si solo digo el año, entonces utilizo in. Yo simplemente podría decir in 1990, por darle un ejemplo, en 1990 o in October, en octubre, ¿verdad? Ahí sí utilizamos la preposición in. Si lo acompañamos 
mes y día, entonces utilizamos uh, on, utilizamos on, exacto, ¿verdad? Entonces, Dígame cuál fecha era la, eh, de su nacimiento en este caso. On October 17th. October 17th. Utilizamos números 17th. ordinales. October uh -huh. 17th. 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 Y de ahí nos vamos con el año. El año lo utilizamos de dos cifras en dos cifras. Es como decir uh, 1990, digamos, ¿verdad? 1990 en inglés. En este caso, ¿cuál es su fecha, su año de nacimiento? En 1997. Mil, ok, perfecto. 1997, la cifra tal cual se lee. 1,997. Esa sería la cifra leída tal cual, 1,997. Pero en inglés se ahorran muchas palabras y en el caso, y ese es el caso de las fechas, lo, lo dividen como en dos dígitos, como decir 1,997. Entonces ahí decimos 1,997. Y ahí ya estamos diciendo la fecha de nacimiento. Uh -huh. El año. Sí, sí, uh -huh. sí eso teníamos la duda porque ese, mi compañera aquí decía que se decía en dos bloques pequeños, así como lo usted está diciendo. Solamente sí. que yo le decía la, eh, la fecha tal cual, así uh -huh. larga. Ah, sí. sí, es probable dar toda la fecha, eso no es ningún problema. Nada más que los años, sí es más común utilizarlo haciendo bloque, ¿verdad? Sí, e incluso se resulta hasta más fácil para expresarlo. <risa> Okay, okay. Right. Gracias, Thank you. We we'll return to the main room. Regresamos a la sala principal. Thank you so much for your practice. Gracias. Teacher. Hello. I have a question. Ask me, go ahead, tell me. How do you say, eh, ¿cuál fue la materia favorita de tu hermana? Uh -huh. In this case, we make use of the possessive. En este caso, vamos a hacer uso del posesivo. Siempre utilizamos what, what, ¿de quién me dijo su hermano o hermana? Sorry. Hermana. Ok. Hermana. What was your sister's favorite subject. Es que lo estaba haciendo al revés. <laughs> Decía ah. favorite subject sister. Ah, okay. In this case, the possessive goes at the beginning. What was your sister's favorite subject? That should be the order. All right? Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. All right, people, we are going, because of time, we're going to check on attendance. Uh, or I don't know if there was any question about the contents. No sé si había alguna pregunta. La atiendo rapidito. Yes, uh, I have a question. Tell me, go ahead. Eh, la respuesta, eh, por ejemplo, eh, donde está, who was your favorite English teacher? ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo sería lo correcto la respuesta? Igual que was, what your favorite subject school? <laughs> In this case, you, my fave, the complete phrase, my favorite teacher was, ¿no? utilizando la frase completa, my favorite teacher was Jose. Or it is possible to use the, the pronoun it. Podemos utilizar el pronombre it. It was Jose. Con las dos formas es correcta. Similar to the subject. Similar okay, con, okay. con la materia. Uh -huh. My favorite subject was mathematics. Or in the short form, it. It was mathematics. Simple and pretty. Ok, es que ese, ese último no. Yo sabía que había otra forma, pero no, mm -hmm. no me recordaba cómo era. Ok, thank you. You're welcome. All right. Let's get started with the attendance. Uh, when you listen to your name, please uh, make a verbal confirmation that you are still here. Dinora Lisset Pineda. Present. Thank you so much. Dora Mary Beltrán. Yes, thank you so much. Félix Edgardo Escobar. Félix was not here. Extrañamos a Félix. Hoy no, no, lo, no lo vi ningún ratico. Israel Antonio Torres. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Lilian Saray Montes. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much. Lisette uh, Flores. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much. Marcela Ivón. Present teacher. Thank you. María de los Ángeles. Me, teacher. Thank you. Norman Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you, thank you. Osvaldo Méndez. Present. Thank you. Rebeca Ivonne. Present. 
Thank you so much, Miss Rebecca. Uh, Santos Bolaños. Present, teacher. Thank you. Saúl Alfredo Barahona. Uh, here, teacher. Thank you so much. Susana Flamenco. Miss, oh, thank you so much. Tania Karina Moreno. Present. Tatiana Present. Jamilet Escobar. Present. Thank you. Vilma Contreras Umaña. Present. Thank you. Walter Alberto Tánchez. Present. Thank you. Walter Eleazar Morán. Present. Thank you. Wilfredo Artes Vázquez. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Yesenia Carolina. I guess she's not here. And Sulma Beatriz Perez. Present. All right. Thank you so much. So for this week, that's all. And thank you so much for your presence, for your punctuality. Just a reminder for the people who are missing to complete the, the platform, please do it before this week. ¿la? Hay como tres personas creo que todavía están pendientes de completar la plataforma, así que les pido que antes del fin de semana tengamos completa la información, por favor. Okay? And we see each other on Monday. Nos vemos el lunes. Pase un feliz fin de, cuídese y espero verles por acá con todos los ánimos, ¿ok? Gracias. So, okay. Bye. Bye. Take care. Good, Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye.